I'm Ashley. Welcome to my channel and I'm going to be going over my natural beauty skincare routine today um, and how to look like you're not wearing any makeup when you actually are wearing a little bit but put more together than this because this is how I woke up today. Um, so there is not a pinch of makeup on. No moisturizer, no nothing. I haven't even washed my face yet. Saving that for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, cleansers that I use. Okay, so there's a couple. This is what I am using right now. Dr. Hauschka Soothing Cleansing Milk. Okay, so this is really amazing. Um, it, it has like a light rosy smell. Dr. Hauschka is a German company. I use a lot of them. Um, I always like say they're like the Estee Lauder of natural skincare. They're very luxurious, kind of pricey, um, but just amazing. Um, the other one that I just got done using, that was a new one that I was really impressed with, is this by Juice Beauty, another amazing company. Um, and this is also their cleansing milk. So I like cleansing milks way better than cleansing gels. Cleansing milks are gonna be more gentle and uh, less drying. They have a little bit of oil in them, um, like really soothing and soft. They help remove makeup, especially this one I know is actually officially a makeup remover as well. It's really gentle around the eyes, so if I'm wearing eye makeup, I put a little bit around there um, to help wash that off with just a little bit of water. Um, this one was really similar. I liked it a lot. The price point I think is a little bit lower on Juice Beauty. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wash my face now and, um, then I'll show you how that all works. Actually, before I do that, um, I wanted to show you, I use this once a day. This is the Clarisonic Mia 2. I've had it for quite a few years. Um, you can get like replacement brushes. So this just comes off. You replace this every like six weeks or so. Um, I'm probably not as good at replacing it as much as I should, but I do take it apart and clean it fairly frequently, so I think that's okay. It like just vibrates, like this little head just does this really fast. Um, I just feel like it helps with the pores and this cleansing milk's really gentle in it. Um, I only use this once a day. I'm not gonna use it right now. Um, I use this in the evening like in the shower, but I wanted to show it to you because I feel like it's kept my skin like a really nice texture. Um, I never use anything like apricot scrub or anything like that. So apricot's really bad. Not a ton of people use that, like the St. Ives. Don't use that. If you have St. Ives, Ives apricot scrub, throw it out. So apricot, it's like they grind up that pit and it has all these sharp little edges. So it creates micro tears in your skin, and that's not good. And in the morning, I actually don't use a cleanser or anything. Like I've just been sleeping on clean sheets. I have not been touching my face. Um, I don't have any oils. I don't use oils at night. So I normally just like splash my face and rinse it and then get started. And then I always just dab my face. I never like rub it. It doesn't have to be completely dry because I'm gonna put toner on my face afterwards and that is going to add um, a little bit of moisture anyway. So yeah, you don't have to like get your face like super, super dry. All right, so I just feel a little bit refreshed. I had put some just splashed my face with water, and now I'm ready to show you my toner. So, again, Dr. Hoshka, I love them. I have, there's another toner made by a company called Honey Girl. Love their toner. It's probably my all-time favorite. Um, this is the one I have right now. Honey Girl's cheaper too, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so this is amazing. So toner is going to create a receptive palette 
for your skin to absorb your moisturizer. Um, it's gonna make, it's like a, I use it throughout the day if I just come into the bathroom and I need a little like pick me up, I spritz my face. Um, it's like a drink of water for your skin. So you should always be using toner um, and you can make a DIY one really easily with like rose water, which is sometimes what I do to conserve budget or if I've run out of this. So I just use this rose water if I want to make a DIY toner or be cheap for a month. All right, let's get started with that toner. So I just missed it everywhere. Close your eyes, um, get your neck too, so nice. And since my face is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and put my moisturizer on. I've been using, this is not what's in it. This is like an old Dr. Hauschka bottle. Um, but it is a oil, which I'll show you in a second. I just put about that much in my hand and rub it together and dab it on and make it into my eyes too. And I go here and I just roll it and I get my neck as well down my chest. Okay, all right, so that's my oil. And you can see my skin's absorbing it. And I think I had some dry spots in my forehead here, so I'm gonna make sure that that is all taken care of. Okay, all right, this is the oil that I make, okay? So this one, this batch is not totally done. Um, you can see there are a bunch of herbs and things in this so i made what's in here last year and that's the last little bit of it so i'm gonna harvest this very soon this has been soaking for hmm, six to eight weeks now which is perfect um so this guy is half of this is jojoba oil half of it is mct from coconut oil make sure that there it was not extracted using hexane which is a chemical um, and it has a tiny bit of avocado oil as well. Um, so the herbs that are floating around in here, so this is an infusion that I'm making. Um, so I used St. John's wort and calendula, and I crushed up some frankincense tears. Uh, if you've ever heard of helichrysum essential oil, helichrysum is uh, just another name for St. John's wort, um, and it's like the scientific name for it. Frankincense is, you know, the oil is going to be more potent, but the tears are cheap and they're easy to put into the oil to infuse. You just have to make sure you have to like crack them. So I normally take like a hammer and try to crack them, throw them in there. And it leaves like a really like very light frankincense smell. And then Rose Auto is another one that I use on my skin all the time very expensive so use it very wisely and sandalwood is also amazing for your skin um, if I'm ever breaking out I use this this is a blend it has lavender tea tree thyme rosemary German chamomile and helichrysum in it okay so now that I have my moisturizer on my lips are feeling a little bit chapped um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with putting on some moisturizer on my lips. So um, I like to start with that before I do anything else. Do what you do. Um, these two are my favorites right now. Let's see here if I can like find these for you. So yeah, did I mention that I'm obsessed with Calendula? This company, Bodyceuticals, they make a lot of really amazing products, skincare. Highly recommend them. Not using any of theirs other than their lip balm right now, but I have in the past. Buddha Butter, I think they really just make these little lip balms and some like maybe body balms. My lips feel more supple now. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, and it's summer right now, so sunscreen. This is such an amazing moisturizer and SPF. Um, obviously, I just used an oil on my face. Uh, I'm in Idaho, in the Idaho desert. Skin is 
fry people. So um, I feel like I need a little extra oil. I feel like this goes on smoother um, over a little bit like moisture skin. Um, so that's what I use. This is SPF 30. They have three different colors some sort of darker thing. This is sand, so I'm kind of like fair, <clears throat> but not the fairest. <laughs> there are much whiter people in the world than me, but I am also definitely not dark. So this is, the sand works perfect, uh, and it's just tinted. It's not gonna like, it's not gonna be crazy dark. You can blend it into probably like whatever your skin tone is. Um, it's not gonna look too off not a perfect match but I like this because it's uh gives me that sun protection I mean I have really clear skin anyway so it's not like I need a lot of coverage so I'm not really looking for that but this does make my skin look very glowy and even so if I can get sun protection and this I am in okay so let's put this on okay so I always you can hear that in the background. Okay, I always start with my nose and I spit it down the sides. So as you can see, this doesn't blend in perfectly with my skin, um, but it will look really nice once I'm done. And I get it around that nose ring. I don't know what other people do as far as like getting, putting on makeup around facial jewelry. That's what I do. Make sure I get under my eyebrow there. Get this side. Blend it in there. can hear my small humans in the background. Okay, so I kind of blended down the neck a little bit, up to the ears. Um, not done the forehead yet, so. Okay, that's how I get the forehead. I like get up to the hairline and try to get like a natural, coverage there so you don't get a line so that's what I do with my finger it seems to work well I don't know if you have a better way comment and let me know okay all right so nothing drastic but you can see that my skin uh, looks a little bit glowier a um, little bit more even skin tone now so um, I'm not going for perfect I don't need perfect um, just a mom and I go to work sometimes and you know so um and I, I don't want to look like I'm wearing anything and I don't want it to feel like I'm wearing anything so this gives me the perfect balance of a little bit of coverage a little bit more put together um protection from the sun and that is my primary goals okay um so now I like to have a little bit of color in my cheeks, so I use this, which is not supposed to be a powder, but it broke in my makeup bag. Um, so I'm gonna use the last little bit. Um, I use a lot of Zuzu makeup. I mean, okay, for real, I don't use very much makeup, period. But what I do use is mostly Zuzu, um, Supernatural, let me get my little brush in here. People, make sure that you are washing your brush like once a week, at least once a month. Okay, let's have a little bit on there. And try to go really light coverage, just a little something, a little color where the sun would touch my cheeks. Very minimal, just a little color. Um, okay. I have not been doing my eyes lately. I've been really into no eye makeup, but I always like to have my lips done with a little something, a little bit more color to your face. So 
Um, I've been using this Dr. Hauschka lip liner um, right there. And I, I pretty much always do it over lip balm. And I put it down around the edges here. And then just rub it. And with the lip balm over that already, um, it goes in really easily. And there you go. That's my lips. When I am using mascara, which is not very often anymore, I use this one by Dr. Hauschka. This is the, this one's actually like a plum color. O3 is what it says. And it is really beautiful. Can't really see that well here, but you can, you might be able to see that it's, um, it's like a dark brownish purple. It doesn't look purple on. It looks really gorgeous. A couple other things I wanted to show you. Um, these two products, okay? So another Dr. Hauschka. This one is actually a foundation. It's a little bit thicker. Um, does give a lot more coverage. This one is more like a tinted moisturizer by Anna Marie Borland. Um, both of these really clean. Slice a German company. Uh, another German company, they do amazing natural skincare over there. Um, so yeah, so if I'm going somewhere in the evening and I want just like tinted coverage, this one is what I use. Um, I wore this for my wedding because their skin does not photograph well. Um, so this is what I wore and it looked really natural and beautiful. Um, let's see here, what else? Um, sometimes I use this by Pacifica, a little bit like around the eyes. Uh, it's, actually I don't even know what it's for. I think it's just like a highlighter maybe. It's kind of bronzy. It looks pretty. Um, I'm literally going through my whole makeup bag and showing you what's in here and I have not gone through this yet. I like haven't taken anything out, so, um have some more Skin Clarity Essential Oil for when I travel and need something. Um, I'm not really a powder girl, so don't really have that in here. Oh, okay. This is really the last makeup thing I wanna show you. This is the Zuzu Lux Liquid Eyeliner. Um, this is Raven, so it's the black one. And it's like a little pen like that. Um, so I just use it on my top lashes sometimes. I don't really like eyeliner that much either. But occasionally if I'm going out and I want a bolder eye, I'll use it. So that is a great option for eyeliner. I don't really do anything to my eyebrows just because I'm too lazy and I like to touch my face. Um, although, I used to sometimes fill it in with a pencil which I used this Zuzu pencil and I used the tobacco color. It's a tobacco eyeliner actually, and I just kind of brush it in there. But I found that this Zuzu mascara, so this was an old one, works really well as like an eyebrow brush. So it's a little dried out and it's like less and you just get it in there. That's kind of like a little hack there if you have an old brown mascara. I guess it depends on what color your skin is and stuff, but this works really well. It kind of has like medium brown, dark sandy. I don't know. My hair is kind of an in-between color. Anyway, this works well because my eyebrows are not that dark. They're not that like amazing, but this plumps them up a little bit for the day-to-day. -day. I just don't care. I value touching my face more. Um, okay, a few more things. Um, at night, I never use an oil-based product unless I got a sunburn or like my face is wind chapped from going skiing in the winter or something. Um, this is my summer serum that I'm using. This is by Devita. Um, and it is has copper peptides in it, helps repair your skin from the sun. 
It is not oil-based, so it doesn't interfere with your skin's natural ability to regenerate in itself at night. This one, Trilogy. I know that Whole Foods carries Trilogy. I get this at our co-op here. So those are nighttime options. This is just like a all-purpose Africa's secret. It is so, so good for everything. Um, like literally, like if I had to like just take one thing with me, like camping or something, this right here, because they can use it for multiple things. Um, shea butter, coconut oil, sesame seed, beeswax, African wild honey, neem oil, boab oil, bee pollen, royal jelly, and propolis. Normally, I don't like things that are shea butter based because it's just hard. I don't feel like it's that moisturizing. Everyone else says it is. I don't really like it, but this is really, you can see, this is more goopy. Um, so I think that the shea butter coconut oil ratio is like lower, or I guess higher, lower, anyway, more even. It has a little bit weird smell. Neem oil smells kind of gross, kind of like peanut butter, maybe like tahini little hint of like skunk smell anyway it's like i don't think it's that bad it fades really fast but if you're weird about smells probably not the product for you and i used to get this in a glass jar and then it started coming plastic so i don't love that as much but um whatever i guess um but this one is different. It smells different than the other one. I've been getting this for like several years. This is the first one. I mean, they've all smelled like neem, but this one smells even a little bit more different. Not bad, but maybe something got changed. Um, beware if you do get this. Sometimes it's smoother, sometimes it's grainier. So that just has to do with the way the shea butter was heated. Maybe it like melted on the truck too. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, it's nice to get a smooth patch, but just is what it is. So this one, you can see is a tiny bit grainy. It just like melts on your skin though. It's not, not a big deal, but it did throw me the first time that I got one that was, had those little grains in it. So I was like, oh, is this bad? Did I get a bad product? Anyway, nope. It's fine. That's just shea butter for you. Um... Okay, if I wear another sunscreen, if like we're going hiking or rafting or something, and I want something heavier duty than this, because this is really nice around town for work, mommy and going to the park every day. Um, but if I'm like going to be like outdoors and doing something, this is the sunscreen that I use. And I actually don't have one of them with me because I left it in my parents' camper when we went camping a few days ago but I'll link it for you guys. Okay, so Badger is amazing, okay? Doesn't really matter which one you get. Uh, super clean, like so, so clean. But this goes on really white, and I use this on the kids because they don't know, they don't care that they're white. It works good, and it's really safe, so love this. Um, if I am doing that, though, I'll normally dust my face with a powder, this is Zuzu's. This one is a little bit dark for my face and I kind of ended up with it accidentally. I like chose the wrong color and kept it. Anyway, but it actually works amazing if I use it um, over a face of white sunscreen. This kind of gives me a little bit of color back and I blend it down the neck and I look a little bit less ghostly. If I am using powder for some other reason, which I don't even know why I have this because I don't wear powder on a day to day. This is actually my color by Zuzu. Uh, this is D7. This is like fair skin, white girl. They do have fairer ones because I, as I said, I am not the fairest of them all. Body sunscreen, K, okay. Devita. This one's really good. And the Michel one, they both come in a tube about this size. Um, this one goes on clearer. I think this one's 30 plus, the other one's 50. 
Um, this one goes on clearer. And my shell goes on a little bit white. Not bad though. Not as bad as the Badger. And it is not as thick. Badger is really thick. You have to rub it in. Okay. One tip with this one though. Once you put it on, don't keep rubbing it in. Okay. So like you put it on your skin. And once it's absorbed, don't touch it. <laughs> if you keep rubbing it like lotion or something, it starts to like peel off. I don't really know. I don't have problems with it later peeling or anything, but don't like overly rub it in because I don't know what happens, but it just, it does that. Um, but for how clear it is, and again, really clean company, zinc oxide based, that's not white. This is clear zinc. Don't know how they do that, but it's good. As far as body soaps go, I'm using one of these two, okay? I kind of bounce back and forth between these. African Black Soap, super amazing. Love this company. They do a lot of great things for women in Africa. Um, all fair trade, kind of similar specs with Dr. Bronner's. You guys probably know this, like, super granola, country people use. Um, it's good. It's a Castile soap, just means it's from oils that are sponified. Both are biodegradable, which is great. So if you want to take them camping or if you just want to not be dumping more soap pollutants into our water supply, good eco-friendly, body-friendly options. Okay, I use this on the whole family. It's so, so gentle and amazing. The way black soap is made, they like burn palm leaves, I think. They burn some sort of plant. So it's kind of almost like a charcoal type of thing. Highly recommend it. And I totally feel good about using this for my face. This is a little more stripping, but this is super gentle. Um, but it does the job. It gets everything off. It's the stink and the dirt off. So that's what we like, right? Anyway, all right. Thank you. I know this video was so long. Hope you enjoyed it. Skipped through parts you didn't like, didn't need to listen to. Um, and if you listen to the whole thing, thank you. Next time.